Hello and welcome to episode 14 of our Brittany playthrough. As I say before, this episode we will hopefully negotiate a peace with France, gain some more provinces and everything will be fine and dandy. France has, has no way of coming back, it's really just a waiting game while we seize the provinces. Things are going, not slowly, but not as fast as I'd like. I am kind of slightly wary of this army here, but one of Burgundy's larger armies should take that on at some point. A peace offer from Utrecht. Um, I think we may as well take this, because we gain we gain 60 Ducats, obviously, but we don't gain any provinces, but we didn't really want to take them... Well, we didn't want to take them, otherwise things would kick off with the Holy Roman Empire, and that's when things start to go badly. It's quite nice to have... Ooh, accumulate money, we've got prestige. It's quite nice to have, you know, less participants in the war on the enemy side, and then it's just less people to worry about. We should select a new mission, it's only those two missions, so... I don't know, I don't think it's worth it, really. We'll let the game run a little bit. France are actually coming back, maybe, a little bit down here, although that Castilian army will probably mop, mop up, I'm not sure. We should probably negotiate a peace deal very quickly if that's going to become a problem. Burgundy are going to take them out now, it's not a problem. Burgundy have always got our back. We've nearly finished these two sieges up here, and that will, those two provinces will be very, very nice additions to our, our nation. I think if we take these four provinces, I think that maybe, maybe, I won't speak too soon, but I think that maybe we will be bigger than France in terms of provinces. And that is the main turning point. That is when you really know you've accomplished something. We've won the siege of Normandy, brilliant. That is when you know you've really accomplished something as a Western European nation. As soon as the big blue blob is, you know, smaller than you. And we've also won the siege of Perigord. Only cow left to do. We'll then negotiate a peace deal, of course. Although we could carry on blanket sieging France and maybe squeeze a few more things out of the peace deal. I'll see in a second. The, the more provinces we take, the less chance they have of making new armies. And that is, that's the main thing, really. Come on, cow. I'm not sure how you pronounce these things. I'm probably god-awful at it, but there's not much I can do, really. Apart from look, up, look it up on Google every time I see a new province. We'll leave these rebels for a bit. I'm not, I'm not too worried about it, really. That Burgundian army may even clear it up for us. We'll give them some time, see if they feel like it. I think these guys just want... I think they want independence for Orléans, so I'm not I'm not really worried about that. The Siege of Cow, brilliant. We'll now try and take out this. Now we'll use the General as well. Burgundy helped us out, absolutely brilliant. Wow, that is a huge amount of rebels. Um, I think now is the time when there's rebels rising up everywhere to negotiate a peace. So... We'll do this quite slowly. We need to think about this for sure. We want to take Berry. We want to take Cal. We want to take Normandy. And apparently that's it. I thought we occupied Perigod, but apparently not. Apparently I can't take it. Um, that's interesting. I'm not quite sure why, but apparently I can't anyway. So those three provinces, that puts us up to 60, 60 piece off of value. Um, not a huge amount, obviously. We could ask them to return... Mm, I'm not too worried about revoking cause because there's nothing which directly affects us. I could ask them to cancel vassals, uh, say Foix or Armagnac, or release nations. Like, for instance, if we could get them to release Guyane, then that would be absolutely wonderful. But it's a 100% war score, so that's really out of, out of bounds. Uh, we've clicked something apparently and now we're too high. What have I clicked? Both of these. So they won't accept both of them, but we might ask them to release Armanac. Hmm. 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 Uh, I'm not I'm not sure. It's quite hard to decide which to take. I have sixty four points left, basically. Um we could we could ask them to release Bourbonnet and then Foi. Do I get some money as well? If I get them to release Avern instead, then I can get even more money, and that's what we want, really, isn't it? So we're going to send that offer. We basically gained three provinces, wonderful, and France have lost the three provinces which we gained, and also another one because they had to release Avern as a vassal. Well, as a sovereign state. They were previously a vassal. Oh, we've taken prestige off France. We have got prestige ourselves. We've also got inflation, but I'm not too worried about that. We are now, I think, 
about the same size as France, and that is a wonderful position to be in, for sure. France is now split into two halves, which, although it may not seem like much, it's actually really, really, well, really, really good. It means that we can... That was the reason I really wanted to take Berry. That, uh, to, to make a sort of passage through to Eastern Europe. Not East East Europe, but Middling Europe, I suppose you could say. And then we can maybe look to expand into Savoy, or... Well, that's part of the Holy Roman Empire. Maybe somewhere a bit less scary, like Provence, for instance. Maybe attack the Papal State, why the hell not? We also will look to um, become Christian... Uh, be, sorry, become Protestant at some point, because... I don't know, Protestant is just the most useful religion in this game, I feel. I'm sure many of you have got different ideas, but... Right. Our missions are to integrate Normandy or integrate Berry. Do we get the same... Okay, we get the same rewards either way. We're going to do it. We've lost the Conquest Castus Belly. Interesting. Uh, we need... Right, this is how you do it. It costs 129 admin power for each one. Well, no, for Berry. So we'll do Berry first. We want to do also... Normandy, and then very soon, obviously, we'll be able to do cow. It shouldn't take long. Now the war is over, and I've finished saving my diplomatic power, we can take that next idea, and that will maybe... We've also advanced in the Breton ideas. That will maybe mean that we can start doing colonies. Now I'll see. So, okay, maybe not, maybe, maybe not. They're all a bit too far away yet, so we need to advance our diplomatic technology a bit further. Although that's... Again, not too bad. We'll also advance military power, uh, military technology, sorry, up to level 7. And I think that puts us on a par with France. It does indeed. So they're not ahead of us too much in military technology. Now, I'm going to end the episode there, as we've actually made quite significant progress, and we've also come a little bit closer to overseas exploration. Maybe if we just took, you know, the province of Canal, Canal, then... Mm, that might put us in a position to colonise. Although I'm not sure. That, that still remains to be seen. It looks very nice, doesn't it? A big Brittany. Yeah, so I'm going to end the episode there. Not, It's not too long, but a lot's happened. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.